and so it was. Here at Awan Waha, home of the Red Branch Knights, ancient seat of Ulster, that the monk named Patrick came to address its ruler, Chief Dara. Thank you, Chief Dara, for permitting me to speak before you today. It's been a long time since I've been on this sacred isle. A long time since I've returned here. Return? You've been here before? Yes, many years ago. I was but a boy, 16 years old, when I was captured by Irish raiders and forced into slavery. But then a moment changed my life forever. What was this moment? I heard a voice, a voice in my head, and that voice gave me the courage that I needed to escape from slavery. Then why return? Why come back to the land that enslaved you? Because I had a vision. Tell me about this vision. And so Patrick explained about the man whose name was Victoricus. He had heard the voice of the Irish people near the woods of Falcou, which is beside the Western Sea. And it was crying out over and over again. We appeal to you, holy servant boy, to come and walk among us. And so you returned to Ireland? Yes, but first I had to study a little bit longer. I was ordained finally by Germanus of Auxerre, and it was at that stage that I made my return to this great island. Where did you land? I landed at a place called Manapia, though you may know it as Wicklow. But the inhabitants there did not take favorably to me, so I moved northwards into a more welcoming place. <laughs> Leinster hospitality. <laughs> and yet you think here is more welcoming. Tell me, why have you come here? Because I've seen the worship of false idols, Chief Dara. I've seen paganism arrive. I've come to make you all children of God. So you have come to convert us, to change our culture, destroy our gods. There is only one God. Careful, monk, lest I have you dragged from this place, the head struck from your shoulders and driven onto my walls. What do you ask of me? I seek only land, land to build my church. A church? Here? <laughs> Tell me, what land do you seek? I seek the land of Ardmacha. Ardmacha? Ardmacha! Patrick and Dar stared at each other for what seemed like an eternity. Dar once more was tempted to use his sword. Instead, he relented, smiled before laughing aloud. Who was this monk, Dara thought, foolish and yet at the same time so brave that he should talk to him in this way? But just as Patrick was about to speak, Dara raised a hand to stop him. No, I cannot give the land of Ardmaka. It is too precious, but there is a hill to the southwest, you can build your church there. And that's how it was for a time. With the land given to him, Patrick began building his church. All was well until one day, Dara's steed, a grand and powerful grey stallion, found its way onto the land that Patrick had been given. While grazing on the land, the horse died. On hearing this, Dara was furious. The monk! I give him land. I let him live free and safe amongst our people. And this is how he repays me. Bring him to me. However, while they waited for Patrick, Dara grew sick. As his sickness continued, Dara's people grew more concerned. 
until Patrick's return, the chief grew worse and worse. Monk, you have returned. You don't seem well, Chief Dara. Well, this time comes for us all. With God, all things are possible. So you've said. Uh, my prized horse died on your land. Your I horse don't... is fine. Come. Drink and be well. <laughs> so, you kill my horse, bring me to death's door, and yet somehow we're both back. So, it would seem. <laughs> Very well then, monk. Sit and tell me more. Tell me more about your god. And that, people of Ireland, was how Patrick converted the pagans into Christianity. To convert a people, it is wise to convert their chief. And what greater chief than Dara? What greater place is chiefdom Awan Waka? <laughs> <laughs>